Boa tarde galera, Maguila Mudanças Mais uma vez, sexta-feira Dia 2 Do 6 de 2023 Às 4 horas da tarde Essa vai pro Caio, ó a dancinha Tu tchá tchá, tu gu tchá Tu du tchá tchá, tu gu tchá Tu du tchá tchá, tu gu tchá Tu du oi o passinho do Maguila Cá, geladeira na mão Ele manda o passinho E não solta a mão Então vai, vai dança o passinho Vai, vai manda o passinho É o passinho do Maguila É o passinho do trio Oi, oi This goes, I actually haven't watched the rest of this So I, I don't even know what, uh, what happens But uh, this goes on for like another minute This is the same for today which i have aptly and cleverly named bridge guy also uh if you go to the comments section here do brazilian funk brazilian funk look there's people saying brazilian funk and then brazilian funk i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't know what either one of those things are so i'm not even gonna attempt to do that because i'm probably gonna do it wrong i'm just not if anyone else wants to though <laughs> by all means um let's go make some music shall we I want the part where he starts hitting like the uh Geladeira na mão. Oh, right here. He starts hitting it right here, dude. Do passinho do passinho. Oh, can anyone translate? I personally have no idea what he's saying. Any translate any translators? Let me get a metronome going up in here. Geladeira na mão. This is fire. Sinho. Low key. Sinho. Not even low key. Just key. Not quite high key. <laughs> it's like in between low key and high key. Yo, dog, this is this is kind of key. 130 perfect for B funk. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. So I gotta do a Google search or I'm just gonna I'm just not gonna worry about genres and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a beat over this thing. We'll call it Nate Funk. <laughs> Yo, Key, bro has near perfect rhythm. It's very natural. I don't really have to do much in here, honestly. Let's get some drums. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, cool. First, I'm just gonna go with the first one I see. Okay, I hate it. Get a nice hearty kick drum. Not that hearty. Not that hearty. I need one shot. Bro, I need one shot. That's kind of nice. A lot of you guys might not know this, but when you're trying to put together like a drum loop, I, I tend to dish a lot of really helpful knowledge here to like to the, to, to the producer community and just music, enthus music enthusiasts in general. If you are trying to drum, make drums, uh, you need a kick and a snare. <laughs> It'll probably take you a while to find a, a snare that you like. Actually, here's the thing. It's going to take you a while to find a snare. What's going to happen is you're not going to find one that you like. Uh, you're, you're actually just going to just pick one eventually. You're not necessarily going to like it. These aren't even snares. Rim shot would be good. Actually, see if we can get a, another one. It's nice. Now we got some stuff. And then we can like do uh, another kick here. Another one here. Actually, hold on. We can also also put that one right there. Boom. Loop it. Check it out. Drum loop. Crazy. I know it's really intricate, complicated, complex. What shade of piss are we gonna go today? Super dehydrated or more of like a lemonade. I guess that's olive green. I might be colorblind. Kidney stone yellow. Jesus Christ. How about we just go Gatorade? That works. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm thinking we pitch this up a little bit. Get a thick, thick, thick 808. Something to really take us home, you know. What, what key do you think this is in? Okay, fire. This is like potential for a sick melody too. Let's start with the 808. Starting to realize this kick is like too dubstepy for my liking. So let's get another one. You're gonna find kicks and you're gonna use them. And then in, into your, well into your, your project, are you gonna realize that you're gonna realize you don't actually like them. So you're gonna swap them out for something else. You know what I'm saying? Okay, also, you can turn the vocal off when you're making your drum beat. That way, um, you don't go insane. A little magic sauce on here. Okay. And let's not quite introduce the vocal just yet. I'm gonna take the kick out and the, uh, it'll wait. Put that right there. So we just have snare. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
All right. Uh, what happens if I do this down to 98? I'm just curious. This is probably going to be dookie. Okay. Well, what's 126 divided by two? Oh, um, bad at math. Bad at math. Bad at lots of things. Really bad at math. 63. Cool. Okay. 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 <laughs> Mute everything except the vocal and uh let's create atmosphere. Create atmosphere. Where's the battle axe? God damn it. Okay. Fuck. Atmosphere, I guess. We can make like some bell, like some trappy bells or something. I like these, but there's way too much reverb. Okay, I instantly just defaulted to like Tokyo Drift. I don't know why. All right, yeah, something basic like that. Whatever this bell preset is kind of has like an old timey piano feel to it. So I'm going to like kind of try and do the same thing for these vocals. I have to sit like a normal person. Every time I catch myself making music, I'm always like, I gotta figure out how to make this vocal sound like an old timey piano. God, why does my back hurt? Ah, yo, piano. Ah, Jesus Christ. Vocal processing. All right, here, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna high pass a little bit more. And then we're gonna not, cause it actually sounds pretty bad. Uh, we can throw a little altar boy on here. You know, pretend that we're doing something that we've never done before. Actually, I hate that. We're not gonna do that either. <laughs> kind of cool, kind of scary. Okay, uh, if you ABM, you realize that that actually sounds criminal. You know, like I could serve jail time for doing that. So I'm not going to. I think I might just leave the vocals. They're cool. The vocals are cool. I don't need to do anything to them. Let's progress the song. It needs like a yoink or a yep. I guess it makes sense. If you search yoink, you get like dubstep stuff. <laughs> Let's try this. Just one, one yoink, please. <laughs> so out of place. Hey, who the fuck invited this guy, dude? What the hell are you doing here? Everyone's vibing, and all of a sudden just... God, Jesus, dude. God, yo, maybe you should announce your entrance so I know to leave. <laughs> Okay, now we need like a the longest snare roll ever. I'm just gonna get one snare and just make it like. Hold on, I need triplets though. How long do you think I could make it? Oh, that's two. Okay, actually, instead of doing this on the piano roll, I should have done it like this. Okay, what, four bars? Or eight? Four is plenty. 32 bar snare roll. Come on, we're not dude, this. We're not doing a repeat of the snare incident right now. Okay, this is just good wholesome fun. <laughs> okay, low key kind of fire. Low pass our little pluck. Oh god. Can I go triplets on this thing? Let's turn triplet. Okay, yeah, it is. So let's automate our LFO here. We're gonna go from one eighth to one eighth triplets, and the amount of swag that is gonna be pouring out of your speakers or headphones. <laughs> okay, the vocal should follow the swag pattern. That's what I'm dubbing the um, little wobble thing there. So we're just on an eighth note LFO sequence right here. <laughs> Tossing a quick little flare here. Maybe even like a sudden abrupt pizzazz like that. Whoops, like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, I wonder if it would work better. This might work better without an 808. So I'm gonna quickly try and um, sauce this up a quick little uh, organic sub base rather than an artificial one bought from the store. See if we can source that directly from my serum presets. You know what I mean? I'm sitting like an asshole again. Okay, here we go. Stand by, everyone. Uh, rocket boosters activated. Preparing for scoliosis. Real, real issue in the EQ department here. Out here looking like a reverse camel's back, dude. You want to talk about fucked up spines? Look at my goddamn EQ, dude. What was I trying? What is this? A fucking like dirt bike jump? Huh? Is this a skateboard park? Is that why the notes look like this? This dude's about to take his skateboard. Dude, he's about to jump. You know, you want that fuzz. You want that real warm fuzz coming from the nuclear amount of compression. Okay, low key, kind of into it. He, I'm kind of into it. Nate, please save the project. <laughs> I haven't saved this yet. Oops. You know what? I kind of like living on the edge. What if I just don't? What if I just don't save it? Dude, we could also like go. Right, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna move the side chain over slightly and then I'm going to uh, implement this vocal in a way that doesn't make you like hate the current moment in time that you're living in because that moment is, is when you're experiencing listening to the song. I think like a big screech impact. I'm not gonna be able to describe this. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, hold on there, partner. Also, he kind of hits a little triplet right there. So I think I'm going to move these right here also. Turning both these off. Is this a milli? Brazilian. This is a Brazili. <laughs> All right, how many plugins do you think I can put on this vocal before uh, you know I cause irreparable damage not only to myself but humanity in general? Instantly puts rift on it. The sound destroyer. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. So here we have really good audio. Look, I'm not telling you to trust the process. If anything, actually, I'm telling you to like be very wary of the process. Like, if the process is trying to like you know feed you some bullshit, you, you, you probably call it out on and be like, "Hey, look, man, like uh, <laughs> been burned by you before." Okay, but if you want to choose to trust the process, you know you're, you're fully in your right to do so. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's that sounds great. What the fuck were we making over here? This thing's all over the place, man. What the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, we're gonna cut all of that. We're gonna put none of that happen. I gotta get some kind of a space filler. I'm thinking just like some percussion. This might be too gritty. Oh wait, no, hold up. This might be fucking sick. I do like the grittiness of this though. All right, let's get more. More. It, it could be cool if it doesn't sound like dishes falling over. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, it's time to resample this thing. Make it louder because it's struggling to sit well in the mix right now. And my solution to that is to uh, simply bounce the audio and then turn the volume up. That'll do the trick. Okay, well, the mix down is dog shit, but you know, guys, it's V1.2 underscore uh, not final mix underscore demo whip underscore final master. Big, just a 
abrupt snare. You guys know how we do it around here? We go big into really small, meaning, check this out, on my master channel. Jesus Christ, what a, what a, what a, what a disaster this is, huh? Why do I have so many things on the master? What the fuck's going on? Oh, uh, we're gonna add a reverb, and then we're gonna turn it off, but then we're gonna crank it up here like this. Fuck you, fuck you. Delete the whole song before you finish it. That's good. Oh god, two minutes? And he's coming down to the finish line. Someone, I need a live commentary. Uh, I'm not, I can't do it myself though. There's no shot I'm gonna be able to do it myself and make the song at the same time, guys. I can't fucking do that. What do you, what do you want, what do you, what do you want from me? I'm not that multi-talented. Coming down to the finish line, holy fucking shit, he's coming. doing stuff that he wasn't actually gonna end up using in the final orders of the song so he spent the last eight minutes of the stream making the song and now he's going to just copy that uh, he's gonna add the longest snare roll ever back in here onto the second side here why what since when do announcer voices sound like they're on a telephone what am i what is this bit that i'm even doing i don't even know what the fuck i'm doing like what is this and he puts the longest snare roll in there he's gonna have to go and add an open crash symbol he's got just the one in line it's from the cyber trap volume one sample pack from eliminate uh, it's available on splice if you want to go check it out and he's gonna go ahead and uh, make this one unique and pitch it down to oh got 28 fucking seconds shit out of my ass there's shit coming out of my ass okay he's gonna go down a little bit more seven semi uh how about eight ah perfect oh good lord eight seconds oh my god oh fuck 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 shit fuck shit shit and fucking shit and he just wrote a whole another song shit fuck <laughs> Dude. Oh, I never know what the hell I'm doing here, but that's okay. Get it, squad. There's a whole section over here. To, that, this part's not done, you know. It's like whatever. It's like work in progress. It's like that. He's like not that serious, dude. It's like whatever. It's not. It's definitely not. I don't even know what. Oh god, I don't even know what's going on here. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, this part's sick. I love this part. <laughs> Had five minutes. That was fire, dude. <laughs> Good wholesome time that was. What the fuck is a roller skating backwards type beat? Not only 
normally I regrace with Nettie's presence, but just pops in here and, and drops the most emotional ballad. <laughs> That's the most unexpected shit the hell just happened. people help who are these characters i'm asking for a friend it's ai god i'm okay i'm fucked i'm never gonna figure anything out <laughs> they're not real they're not real i just assumed this was like from an anime <laughs> <laughs> I need you guys to start making the songs for me. It's going forward. Don't you wanna... 